Hello friends and welcome to the last edition of our special E3 reaction time. I'm your host Muku and this is reaction time. Uh, wow, I just repeated myself, but who cares? And it's presented by GamesOnSmash.com. Um, now today was the last day of E3. It was the last day of my virgin E3 experience. And, you know, it was awesome. I mean, there's no way you're going to have a bad day at E3. Um, but this day especially was uh, a lot, I got to see a lot of great stuff. Um, I spent about two hours at Sony's booth checking out all the move titles, everything they've got coming up. Um, uh, I, I checked out Portal 2, which is, you know, um, the thing about Portal 2 is when I see what they're adding there, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to beat the game. Like, it's... It's that level of complexity. Because in the first one, it was complex with just two portals, you know? And there was some other stuff as well. But this time, they're adding, you know, this um, this orange stuff that makes you slide real fast. And you have to use that uh, as a paint. And, you know, there's this other blue paint that you bounce off of. And now you're using lasers to guide things with. And, like, there's just so much more of it that... I'm intimidated, like, what I saw, the 15-minute uh, preview that Valve gave us, it intimidated me for buying the game. Um, what else did I see today? Um, I, I just saw a lot. I got to play Enslaved, which definitely looks nice. Not Uncharted 2 quality, but I'd go with Uncharted. Um, so, thanks for that uh, uh, Ninja Theory. Yeah, yeah, Ninja Theory. The same people who made Heavenly Sword. Um, but... Let me tell you guys, I know you guys are all thinking, well, Muku, who won E3 in your opinion, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, I, I, I played with everybody. I didn't get to play Connect much. I only played one or two games. Uh, Dance Central, which I love. Uh, Dance Central was just fun. Um, but, and I played a lot of Sony. I just hung out all day in Sony's booth. But the very last... Uh, the very last hour, I decided that I was going to check out 3DS. I'd have been avoiding it because it was long lines, but there was finally a slot open, and I decided to check it out. I thought it would be like the demo we got um, right after the Nintendo press conference, but I was wrong. I was totally wrong. This was like fully playable stuff, and fully playable videos, and fully playable. You just got to see videos. Like There was just so much stuff you could do. Um, and I gotta say, guys, it blew me away. It... This... This is going to be a huge product that Nintendo is putting out. Like, this is going to affect so many things. It's going to affect the digital camera industry. It's going to affect the film industry. It's going to affect the game industry. Everything Portal is going to go this way, I think. Because you just have... I mean, I don't know. All these things work flawlessly. Like, you just... You can't understand the 3DS until you see it. Is the best way I can put it. Because again, it's like you're looking through the shadow box that you can turn off and on, which is incredible. But but the gameplay, it, 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 it I won't say it affects gameplay, but it, it's just really cool for gameplay. And, you know, I don't think it changes everything that much, but the fact that I felt really cool about it is enough to warrant purchasing it, you know? Because, I mean, that's what we're looking for, right? We're looking for the next cool thing. Well, this is the next cool thing. And uh, I got to play the pictures. The pictures work. Instantaneous 3D pictures that do work. Which is incredible. And there's an SD slot on the side, so I'm pretty sure you can export those. Um, so it's just... I... It, 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 again, it blew my mind a little bit. Um, and again, this thing... I, I, one thing I wanted to make sure looked good was the 3D movies on it. And I watched How to Train Your Dragon trailer for like five minutes. And yes! It looks great, and since it's a smaller screen, it looks even better than it does in movie theaters. I'm telling you, this thing is going to change the film industry. I'm going to talk about that a little bit later, but yeah, it's going to change the film industry. We're going to start small, we're going to look at 3D small, lensless, and then we're going to expand. Honestly, I think it's going to kill 3D TVs just because people see this little hint of uh, no lens 3D technology, I think they're gonna hold off. They're gonna be like, well, that's possible. So now I don't need to plop down $6,000 in order to get these glasses when it's gonna be ousted by this. 
which you know has no tint or anything like that. Like that's what I was upset about later um, with with um, all Sony's 3D stuff is how it puts that tint over it and how it kind of fuzzy like that. This no, not at all. No. Now I will say the the technology you use, you can't like rock your head back and stuff like that. Like I tested that more. Like you have to look at it straight on, but you look at portables straight on anyways. Um, so I guess, I mean, the bigger you get, the more you're going to have to deal with that. But I bet they knock out that technology soon. But I'm telling you, folks, it's it's fantastic. I hope we see it soon. But whatever the price point is, I'm going to pick it up. Um, and so in that last 30 minutes of the show, Nintendo came through and just, like, ousted, ousted uh, the other competitors this year for me, which is insane. With the 3DS, they won it. Now as a whole package with games and everything, games I'm most excited about, I still give that to Sony. Um, but yeah, just Nintendo came in there with a one-two punch with that 3DS, man. I'm telling you, and that's it's all the rage on the floor. Everywhere you go, people are talking about you got to check out 3DS. You got to check out 3DS. Well, I did, and I'm glad I went back that second time, just get that full 20-minute experience on it. Um, well. I guess that's about it, guys. I have tons more stuff to talk about. I'm writing impressions of every game that I played there. I just gotta, I'm flying back uh, home tomorrow and uh, I'll, I'll type them all up. I think I'm actually gonna do, like, I'll do an, an official awards thing, like, my thing matters. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure the Kills on Three Gorilla devs are gonna be so happy that they got best shooter at the show or whatever like that. I'm not saying that they did, but you know, maybe. You know, you have to wait till tomorrow to see. You know what I'm talking about? Um, but yeah, I'll have a little awards thing. You know, I figure why not? Let's have some fun. We just went through e, uh, E3, right guys? It was our first one. We had some fun. Um, so again, thanks guys for sticking with me. Uh, thanks for joining me on this majestic journey. Thanks for putting up with my awkward moments like that one that just happened like two seconds ago. Uh, it was fun, and look for more reaction time very soon. Alright, peace brothers. And sisters. Who knows? There could be girls out there.